Hopefully it's me, JFlex, and HBox, so. <laughs> this is definitely, we got some high fun. octane melee in the background. High octane melee on your screen right now as well. Popping in 20%, 30% advantage for HBox. Oh, oh carry him. my god. Wall of pain. Still got the double jump, still back to center. So, so JFlex love... DI. Oh, sorry. Ooh, oh, well, so JFlex DI'd in on those back airs and. Uh, it obviously that leads into more backers but at that really low percent you're able to get out of it towards the end you take a lot for it but that might have just been j flex's thought if he just makes it back he can just win neutral enough and right here potential stock that was really good great, great patience on that air dodge from hbox hbox scouting out that fastball down to try to mix up that recovery but something i'd love to note about j flex and something that he did against my puff in friendlies was pushing nice. the the resting puff away from the platform avoiding that platform tech chase potential and just nice. guaranteeing that wow. uh down throw forward air down throw up air potential off of uh, the rest punish so wow keep an eye out for that moving forward and we're up stacked up three to three right now that's incredibly smart that's sick jflex pretty smart guy all right cool they also got three hands three hands uh so talented oh so much talent just getting out of that touch chase, go. yeah. <laughs> nice. Shield drop there. Not quite clipping with the needles, but JFlex kind of trying to shark with these down tilts. You can find some really good socks off that. Oh, this wow. That was an interesting time to rest. So HBox actually taking JFlex a little off guard and JFlex DIing it off the top. So he's able to kind of get out for free on that one as opposed to trading. Trying to pressure that shield. Hbox uh, immediately looking for the shark. Can't quite reach the sky, but will trade. trade up with the up air. Finds stock back, and we're up two to two. But a little bit of extra credit here for Hbox. Beautifully spaced back air right there. If you're able to consistently get those hard hit back airs and fade them away, you can be really, really safe fighting. It's a lot of floaties this chic. It's kind of the bread and butter, and what makes these matchups a little tough. And again, off the top, unfortunately, I feel like. JFlex can maybe start reacting to that uh, at some point. I feel like that one was fairly reactable. Oh my god, what a shark attempt with those up smashes. Just absolutely massive hitbox. Does not get enough respect as it deserves. Uh, JFlex taking about 80% off this extended punish. Double back air. He's got not some roll potential and a rest Again, off the ledge. Wow. Hungry Three. god out here. Yeah, and those rests right there were ones where it was more just abusing certain parts of not even just like chic hbox but just melee there were more guaranteed setups it wasn't that jflex was getting themselves rested a lot necessarily but hbox was just taking advantage of all the times that commonly come up in melee where if you are puff you can rest so yeah. that was uh a quite efficient so, resting from hbox i would say They're yeah really, not really, really getting too many uh like you're saying not getting too many crazy setups just just yeah. honestly winning neutral over and over and over yeah. again pushing the it, it off stage and then punishing the lag recovery yeah it's not like jflex was running up to a crouching puff and f tilting and getting rested you know what i mean it wasn't like he was running in and getting crouch canceled into up tilt rest you know i feel like those are more issues with you playing against puff and fighting around rest but hbox is just kind of cooking a little bit right now i would say so we'll see how this set goes because i feel like jflex was playing pretty decent there too if they can yeah. stop DIing off the top they would have been able to trade both those stocks and we were at a last stock game yeah it was uh i think well HBox i guess i was getting uh... stock hbox was also lining up those rests really well trying to get them to set as close to the center of the hitbox so it was a little bit more ambiguous for jflex to di um definitely like especially when coming up through the top of the through the bottom of the platform if it, jflex was poofing to the side flat uh if you line it up going straight vertical it's so difficult to avoid that uh start ko so have to see is uh where our counter pick is looks like yoshi's story will be the pick today pretty common counter pick just lets you kill pop a little bit earlier and i mean if hbox is resting you three times a game it doesn't really matter what how big the <laughs> You know the stages are gosh what are they called the, uh, uh, yeah stages well the st well no obviously it's stages but what <laughs> where did this uh blast zone thank you slum gosh that is the word i was looking for what a what a dumb name though like come on can we just talk about that that sounds like a 1970s comic book superhero blast zone <laughs> yeah like <laughs> 
Oh, oh like double gets caught poop, by right? the double poof. Looking like a 2015 Captain Face roll. Yep. Again. You know, there's only so many places. Oh, was he trade. dead? What? That's crazy. At 38? That's and nutty. J Flex having to hit with the side hitbox of uh, Sheik's up smash because. If you notice, only on the very right side of that platform underneath it will the up smash hit through it. Because when it starts sloping down, it's too high up. So J Flex standing as far right as possible to still hit with the left side of up smash hitbox. Just great awareness, like you were talking about when they push Puff away. Oh, catch him with the reverse fair. Wait, caught the jump as well. H box. Definitely uh, doing a crazy mix up off of that. Uh drill most cheeks actually spamming jump out of that drill hits and trying to get out of that you know drill rest or drill up smash hbox just scouting that out finding that reverse fair and killing it such a low percent oh man wow that's the annoying hurt box of pound where the animation they clearly are like turning away but the hit box is still out you just gotta wait a second more <laughs> all right last talk situation ladies and gentlemen jflex Oh my god, kind of clipped through the side of uh, Yoshi's there for a sec, but we're back to center stage. Alright, scouting out that aerial space with an extended forward tilt. Just absolute M&M of a shield and covering the landing zone as well. JFlex doing a great job making it so difficult for HBox to move how they want to. Oh, oh he's dead. That's it, yeah. JFlex taking game two on Yoshi's. J HBox finally missed the rest. You know, live or die by it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> live or die It'll by like the rest. That. It'll definitely be like that from time to time. Uh, yeah, HBox definitely being a little more liberal with the rest from what I'm seeing than as opposed to uh, the sets of the past. But I know rest yeah. such a massive tool against Sheik, especially with those laggy FBs. So, see a uh, tied up scoreline. Probably looking at a Dreamland counter pick coming by the way of Liquid's Hungry Box. Yeah. I think the set might go the distance. They like are doing good on their counter picks. You know what I'm saying? And I can, you didn't get I rested three times. That was the difference. Did not, and I feel like that's something that you'll keep adapting to more as the set goes on. I expect less and less rest as the set goes on. Honestly, I was surprised to see JFlex get rested three times, despite even what I was talking about earlier about how I feel like those were hard rests to avoid, and it was just good optimization on HBox's part of good gameplay. But um, yeah, we'll see how the set goes on. If those rests keep getting found. And if they do, I feel like it's gonna be hard to keep up with that. Yoshi's story, you have those up smashes and a few other tools, but changes oh, on dead? here. Oh, uh, finding ourselves but... on to Dreamland here, game number one. Almost getting Shark Ninja and up, up into a rest there. But an up tilt wow. rest actually will be the way that HBox claims stock number one. So, looks like my prediction might be wrong. Now I was on the side of a little more, I feel like, chic air part. Like, you threw out a really laggy move in a bad situation too close that was able to get punished like that. Which I feel like we haven't really seen from JFlex so far this set. All right, finding an extended combo. Can't quite clean up the stock Dreamland. Just by, by the value of Dreamland alone, just gonna be a lot longer, a little more grindy of a set, but have full faith in JFlex to clean that up. Down throw, upper at that, yeah, like that 105, 110 mark is gonna be those juicy kill confirms that Sheik is gonna be looking for. Stock advantage, wow. yep, I was about to say, and like, then, off that crouch cancel, this will be a stock advantage back to, J back to Hungrybox. Both stocks so far have been against crouch cancel down smash. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh wow. my god. A really good HBox stock. Wow! Absolutely smothered him with those um up air hitboxes. And suddenly we're two stocks down. JFlex got a lot of work to do. Spacing these fares. Slide off backer will get JFlex out with a couple more soft hits, stack on some damage. But platform tech chase. Oh, just reaches for it. Can't quite find the grab. HBox. No jump for JFlex. But again, slide off backer will bail him out one more time. I can kill the city. Really big. Blast zones. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Remember. Not be a stock. Good shout. Here we go. 
Reflex has got a lot of work to do. Can't be taking any of these, uh, too many of these stray hits. Reflex still moving and grooving. Oh my god! <laughs> Four pivot forward tilts. What a beast. Uh, this is getting. Oh, <laughs> no Flex having a little fun at the end of that game. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's tough to take two straight from the god, man. But, yeah, I mean, at least he's moving well. The four pivot forward tilts in a row. What a beast. Speaking of some beast gameplay, how's that uh, again in Luigi set going? What's the scoreline? Uh, 72 stocks on Luigi, 82 for Ganon. Luigi just misfired. No Warlock punch, but Ganon jab, not quite off the side. They're playing on Brinstar. Mm. Classic. Yeah, Ganon's one on Onet, one on Temple. Luigi did the best on Temple so far. Mushroom Kingdom 2. Brinstar right. jabs. Yeah. Oh, huge dead guard opportunity. Oh, my. Oh, I don't I see it. I know we're talking about the Ganon Luigi set on the scene. Oh, my <laughs> God. Wow. I. I. That's funny. No beast. Yeah. Nice. Were you, uh, were you a level 9 CPU Ganon or a level 9 CPU Luigi guy if you were playing teams? Uh, Ganon, because he's a better one. Yeah, again, it's broken. The jab, they just jab everyone. <laughs> Luigi is good too, though. I think Luigi's better against floaties. I don't know. A right, fan of Eftel? Not feeling great for a JFlex fan? Oh, yeah. Good jab there. Nair doing the most percent out of any Sheik aerial. So. Decent move to use, especially against floaties at percents where you know you're not going to be able to combo. And there's those sharking down tilts. Found a lot of good uppers that way. A lot of times you can catch people PIing in as well. Alright, nice crouch cancel from HBox. But 30 percent's not too shabby if you're JFlex. And you're looking for one or like two, maybe two and a half neutral wins here. And then you're at that kill percent once again off that down throw up there, down throw up there. Hold the center stage. Oh, kid shark. So scary. Hbox is reactions and adapting like very quickly in the moment when realizing something will or won't hit or what the opponent is going to be doing is so impressive. JFlex right now. Great needle play. Oh my god, triple. How many? One. Three. Three. Four drills to go. Oh, was it? Yeah, you rock four. Hit him with oh. the quad. Hit the quad. Quad. <laughs> if anyone remembers Operator Perry, you're good. To... Wow, Hbox. Great get up. <laughs> oh! Almost got that scout there. Oh my god, he's dead. Wow. I'm that very surprised. Not quiet. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That was scary. Still is. Yeah. Oh my god, double fair. Here we Stock. go. Hbox looking like a man on a mission. Hbox just recently taking a pretty clutch East Coast Fridays over the likes of JMook in a in a grand finals reset. Um hitting with a juicy, juicy Hbox pop off after that dub, so Hbox stock wow. looking pretty good. Did, who beat Hbox and winners at that event? Oh god, it was, uh, it was, it was a, it was a Panda. Panda won in game five. Oh, okay. In, uh, I think it was yeah. like winner's quarter or something. Just outside top eight. Florida's cracked. Yep. Yeah. And it's pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay, that, that's some new